Hi everyone. Okay, so we're going to go over oxidase testing today. This first part will just be a review on the actual test and then um, we'll watch a very short video on actually performing the test on the bench top. Okay, so oxidase testing. Oxidase test identifies bacteria that produce the enzyme cytochrome C oxidase. Now this, what happens is you have, and you'll see it in the video, you have a little ampule and you have a little piece of filter paper and the reagent from the ampule is added to the filter paper. Oxidase works best if the filter paper is allowed to dry with the reagent on it. If you just dr put the drops of the reagent on, the oxidase on, and then you try and use it right away while it's still wet, you will not get correct results. So make sure that your filter paper is dry, as dries after you add your reagent. Second, you want to make sure that you read this, you read your um, results within 60 seconds. Don't read after 60 seconds because after time, oxidase paper or the oxidase paper will turn where you put your colonies on. It'll turn purple anyway after a period of time. So make sure you don't read it after 60 seconds, or you'll get a positive. You might get a false positive. So this test, the oxidase test, differentiates most non-enterics, such as Pseudomonas, Alkaligenes, stuff like that, which are positive, from Enterobacteriaceae, which are negative. Enterobacteriaceae is like E. coli, Kleb, Proteus, Salmonella, Shigella, Yersinia, okay? Um, there are two non-enteric, not Enterobacteriaceae um, genuses that are oxidase negative, and we'll try to fake you out and make you think that they're Enterobacteriaceae when they're not, and that is Acinetobacter and Stenotrophomonas. They are non-enterics, but they are also oxidase negative. So when you come across them and you do an oxidase test and it's negative, it's gonna make you think it's Enterobacteriaceae, but it's not, okay? Other oxidase positive organisms include Haemophilus, Neisseria, Moraxella, Campylobacter, and Pasteurella. So a positive reaction, it will give you a dark blue purple color change on the filter paper. And a negative reaction, you're not going to get a color. Now, you might get a little bit of a color simply because it's the pigment from the colonies that you're using, but you should not get a color change for oxidase negative. Okay? So here's the video. Okay, so here is the oxidase test as done on the bench top here. So you see we have this little ampule of oxidase. Um, and it has already been put on the, give me a second, it's already been put on this filter paper here and it's dried. We used, we basically use these all day. Now, these are old ones from earlier today and do you see how they look like they are positive? These were negative back when we did them, but because a couple hours have gone by, um, now they look positive, but they are not. Okay, so anyway, what you do is you take your stick and you get a little bit of the colony and then you just kind of smear it on the oxidase paper and you can see that that's a negative right there there's no color change that's just pigment there that's the E. coli now we're using Pseudomonas aeruginosa and now look and you can really see the color change so you can definitely see the difference between Pseudomonas and E. coli um, one of the things too I wanted to mention was if you'll notice E. coli here is oxidase negative and Pseudomonas aeruginosa is oxidase positive. When you are doing quality control, when you're doing QC for oxidase, these two will be your, two, your QC organisms. Okay, so let me know if you guys have any questions and have a great day. Thank you.